All right, we've got Quentin Tate coming out to the blue corner. Alex, what do we know about Quentin Tate? All right, good for him. Yes, he is out of the Progressive Fight Academy in Lethbridge. They've been around a while, and they are—they uh, always put on a pretty good show. They bring a lot of fighters to these to these events, so we'll be excited to see how Quentin does. Quentin was a high school wrestler, Muay Thai boxer, and he also has experience in jiu-jitsu. <laughs> That's what he said. That's right. That's right. So we asked him a little bit why, how he got into fighting, and he said, you know, being on the streets and, and, and just the, the struggles sometimes of being on the streets, he ended up uh, having to use, unfortunately, some of his skills on the street. So he's a real nice kid, but he's just kind of had to been there and done it. And uh, we all know how that goes sometimes. So he is a welder when he's not training and fighting. He welds up those big old silos. He says welding is welding, but I don't know. A silo is pretty impressive to me. I cannot weld a silo either. <laughs> I wouldn't know where to start. All right, we've got Quentin Tate again. So, Alex, why don't you tell us what we know about Quentin? All right, well, Quentin is 20 years old, six foot one, fighting at 185 pounds tonight. Uh, he's been doing MMA for eight months. This is his first competition here tonight. Uh, we found out that his favorite MMA fighter is Nick Diaz because the crazy ones kind of remind him of people at home. That's right, and as I was saying, we apologize about that. We thought we had Alex live there, but we had his mic off. Looks like coming up next, we got another street scrapper, Michael Hornbuckle. Uh, he's from right here in Kalispell. He's 19 years old, 6 foot 0, 185 pounds. Uh, we asked him what his fighting history was, and he said, just defending myself. He this said, is, he this said is that it helps him with his anger issues. Indeed. And this, this is, is his first competition on the books. First competition on the books, quote unquote, from Michael Hornbuckle. <laughs> he likes to go by the composer. And if you can hear the background music, we have, I don't know what it is, Beethoven's Fifth, maybe? One of those Beethoven's symphonies. There's a French horn in the background. Very nice. When asked about his favorite MMA fighter, he just had no idea. He doesn't follow the sport much. <laughs> He's just here to fight. Well, you know, we like that. So we are going to have Mike Hornbuckle in the, looks like the white shorts tonight. Oh, I'm sorry. The front of them is white. The back is black. And we've got Quentin Tate in the blue corner and in the blue shorts. So Fight Force fans, we are on to bout number two, Quentin Tate again, and Quentin is going to be in the blue corner, and he is also in the blue shorts. Mike Hornbuckle, he is going to be in the red corner, and Mike is in white shorts on the front, black on the back side. This match is brought to us by the VFW here in Kalispell. And we are off. Here we go. This is the first competition, the first bout these guys have ever done in the octagon. We got Mike starting off with a big right and another big right and Quentin landing a right straight. 
Mike Shea. Their first fight, they don't seem very nervous. They're doing all right. And we got Mike, Mike going, going in for a double leg. Going for the double leg. Quint trying to sprawl that out, sprawling back, sprawling back. Did a nice job. He's got to keep sprawling. He's doing nice stuff. He's got a little bit of a loose guillotine there. Yeah, but Mike keeps hitting with those uppercuts. So Quentin is trying to, maybe we got a little separation. So we are off and rolling. Still on our feet with about three minutes and 17 seconds left in the fight. Nice this round. Nice right hand by Quentin. There's another attempt at the double leg, but Quentin sprawling back out again. Oh, and he lands on top. Yep, Quinn's on Quinn's top. getting him with the ground and pound. And the composer, Mike Hornbuckle, the composer, is on the ground. He's trying to defend. As long as he can continue to intelligently defend, Dennis Bain will let this go. But if he cannot, and there it is. There it is. So Dennis Bain felt like uh, Mike Hornbuckle was taking too many shots and wasn't defending himself intelligently, and so he stopped the match. So that ends our round, our bout number two. Quentin Tate taking round number two in the first, or bout number two in the first round with a little ground and pound. And here's our video replay of that ground and pound that ended the match in round number one of bout number two. This was our 185 pound division. And there's Dennis Bain. We got Dennis Bain giving our decision, and Joe is going to give it the official decision in just a moment here. The referee Dennis Bain has called this fight at one minute and ten seconds for the first round. Your 